Good day guys, Austin here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up the Sega 32X. Right, on this one, um, it's one of those, it's got a Mega Drive or it's got the Genesis 32X. Basically it's the 32X. I'm going to show you how to set up it all generically so you know you can tailor make the games that you want or all of them or whatever. Basically I have all 32x games involved in the same setup on this one um, but I'm going to show you to set them all up right first off as always with this little set you will need RetroArch installed RetroArch is an emulator kind of um, if you haven't got that already set up I've got a nice tutorial follow the link on the screen now and if you have got that set up then hell's bells and cockle shells let's get stuck straight in <laughs> okay then first off Take yourself into the description below and in there as always is a mega link. Uh, the mega link you will find a little pack or a file. Download that. If you did it as standard it will end up on your desktop. You will have something similar to this. A 7 zip file which is basically a compressed file with the label 32x. What you need to do is right click onto it. This is if you've got 7 zip installed. I have so well if you haven't then I suggest you either do it or find another way. I don't know. I can't teach you everything. <laughs> uh, right click, 7-zip and extract here. That's how I do it. You can do it however you wish. And there we go. Uh, there's not much involved in this one. There isn't that many files. However, I have included everything that I've got. So basically, in there you've got the readme. Ensure it's paramount that you read the readme. Um, also read that it's made by me and here is the two useful folders which will involve in the setup so first off let's get this sorted let's put these back in so what we want to do is we've got databases and media we need to find those in our setup so my setups in D Drive it's in the hyperspin folder and this is where we are up to okay in there you will see as always the two folders that I have included the databases and the media. What I want to do is merge the two that I'm giving you with the one that's already in there. So select them both, drag them over and that will import everything that I've given you in there. If it asks you to replace, yes replace. Never question me ever again. And there we go. I've now installed everything that I want into our hyperspin setup. Now I need to tell it what to do. First off then, I need to know if this is actually a default uh, system. So I'm going to load up Hyperlaunch HQ to see if it's in our list. Oh, I've already got it open. Gee whiz. Okay, so I've just opened it up and it's 32x. Yes it is, so there's less bother. This is going to be a quick video hopefully. Okay, left hand pane, we have 32x set up. We've already got RetroWatch set up. That's the one that we're going to use it for. So what we need to do is actually set up the Sega 32x. So, first stage first. Click the left hand pane, 32x. Done. Now go to the top, you will see emulators. Boom. Click on that. Next, ROM path. I need to tell it where all my games are so it can scan for the games and actually play them or launch them or whatever it is it does. Okay, so my games are in. This will be different from yours. Um, where are mine? Head's a bit whacked. Oh. By the beard of Zeus. Come on, where are you? Oh, yeah. Hyperspin. Uh, ROM paths. Uh, where are they? What are we setting up? Sega 32X. Sega 32X. Boom. We are rocking. So now it knows where. Well, Hyperlaunch HQ now knows where my. Sega 32X's. Okay, default emulator. We've already discussed this. We're using RetroArch. Boom. Okay, so that's those running. Now let's have a look at what else do we need to do? Oh, I've done so many of these. Okay, first off, I know that all my games are compressed. So I'm gonna go into settings and then gonna go to where are we going? Oh yeah. Settings, main settings, and there's a little tab here that says 7 zip. Enabled, yes. If yours aren't compressed, then select yours as false. If you're unsure, leave it as whatever, and then if the games don't launch, just change this tab. Um, 
next thing to do fade info everything set up in fade but again because this is a cartridge based system there isn't going to be much of a loading time so we don't need basically the 7 zip info or the decompression because it's going to be almost instant instantaneous so what I want to do is turn that feature off so in this instance I'm going to go again to settings tab fade progress I'm going to go to animation type I'm going to change that from the bar and image to just image I don't want to see the bar I don't want it in my life for the system ever I also want to turn off the 7 zip progress false yes false okay and that's that now oh it'd be so good if I just clicked on games now I did audit and everything went green mostly oh my god yes I'm on a roll today I'm literally on a roll we can smash out so many systems today um okay so what I'm gonna do now is actually test one oh this could get even better uh, it's hard to test one because, <laughs> to be honest, I'm not going to lie to you, a lot of the games on this system are fucking shocking. Shockingly shit. Uh, but I'm going to whack one on just to test. I'm going to do Virtue Racing Deluxe. I actually don't mind this game, it's not bad. So I clicked on that, and now I'm going to click the rocket, and that should test the game within Hyper Launch. Please work. Fade's looking good, come on. I'm Loading rendering it. I'm rendering Loading it at this complete. Time. Rendering at this moment in time, so it may be shockingly slow and crazy don't judge it don't judge it yeah it's working I'm happy with that it won't be that bad on yours basically I'm rendering the previous video to this one at this moment in time so it's using all my CPU basically so I know it works they won't have that little stutter at the beginning yours should work fine well hopefully Okay, so now I know that this system works, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit out and everything loads. Right, also included in the package that I've given you and you've already just dragged and dropped hopefully is all the cart art, all the box art, the themes, um, what else have I given you, the bezels and the fade. We've set up the fade, I haven't done the bezel yet. Again, this is your own personal preference settings bezel so basically setting stuff at the top bezel here and if you want the bezels on click true I'm gonna put it on because I like the bezels again I've included a few bezels I think choose which one you like or if you don't like any download one from the site or something there's bezels everywhere you can't move for bezels basically I go and make a brew every day and I trip over bezels of that many um, so yeah that's that set up now at this stage then we know it works in Hyper Launch HQ so we know that we can launch the game so all the emulator is set up and it launches good the only other thing left to do now is set up the actual front end which is Hyper Spin so what we need to do is translate everything that we've just done into the front end itself so we don't do this here so we can exit out exit thank you very much we do this in Hyper HQ so let's boom into this one come on Hyper HQ again my apologies my system is going to be running super fucking slow at this moment in time I'm rendering some big videos. Okay, Hyper HQ. Oh, come on, you're gonna kill me today with all this crap. Okay, on the tabs at the top, we want to click in wheel settings, we want to click in this drop down box, and we want to choose the system that we just set up, which is the 32X. So double click on that one. It should look up a screen similar, maybe not identical, but similar to this. Okay, what we want to do is change the ROM path next to the run path little text here you will see a directory click on that okay now what we need to do is go to our uh, ROMs again we need to tell we've told hyperlaunch where they are but we need to tell hyperspin itself where they are so we can basically match all the artwork with all the games so I think I've got all the games anyway, so theoretically, again, I don't need to do this, but you may have split sets, small sets, whatever, I don't know. Um, so, I'm going to do this, so you don't have games showing up that you haven't got. Um, so, come on, back on track, where am I? Oh, head fried, head fried today. Wrong path. Oh my god. Where are you? Oh yeah, hyperspin. <laughs> Jesus, everything's such hard work for me today. Okay, uh, they're in my ROMs folder. Sega, 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 where are you? Sega 32X, there you go, you beauty. Click on that, Chris, okay. Now, it, 
Hyper HQ or Hyper Spin knows where all my games are. Now I need to tell it what kind of games. As always with me, I just bloody compress everything. I love compressing. It saves me so much space. I don't mind the waiting times. It's worth the wait in my eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the, the different file formats that are involved with this system. I know that mine are compressed, so I'm going to do all the compression file formats that I can think of, which are for my case, excuse me a second, <coughs> 7 zip, comma, no space. Ra, no space, comma, no space at all. Never do spaces on this. Um, zip. Yours may be different. Yours might not be compressed, so you'll have the raw files themselves, which I believe may be like um, dot gen or something, or I don't know. Basically, don't put dots in here and don't put uh, spaces. Just put the actual three letters or two letters, which are the file format for each game. Um, right, off track. There we go. That's that done. Now we're going to click on to the wheel settings. I um, know that I've got box and car tart, so what I want to do is drop this all the way down to zero because I don't want to see the wheel when it stops. Um, for some reason, this has gone to 360. I like mine to be 400, so 400 in that one. I want to keep that as 230. I like it. I want to change this style to vertical because I like my wheels vertical instead of rounded shape. Uh, everything else looks good so navigation and themes I want to use ROMs only so it only shows me the games in the wheel that I have in my ROMs folder I know I've got them all but in your case you may not have them all so in that case you would put ROMs only <laughs> Jesus my head is fried today I've drunk so much over the weekend okay wheel filters I want to do wheels only just do it and also return to last game yes I want to do that and also I want to remove the text field info basically I want to remove all the uh, where the game come from um, I don't care where it come from I just want to know the name of the game okay next one then is video leave it leave it it should work as standard unless you mess with it and if it does um, if they don't work basically tell it where all the video full um, files are for this. Should be in your media, uh, Sega, 32X, uh, videos and there should be all your files. Um, you will as always need to sync this system so you can either do that through MU Movies itself and manually put all the videos in or you can become a member and use Hypersync, watch the tutorial video if you don't know what you're doing with that one if you want some more info and basically sync all the videos up. Don't sync anything else, just the videos, because I've just given you everything else. Okay, sounds, I get as always, turn this shit off and keep the clicks on, up to you. You might like stupid sounds in the background. And wheel art, if you've got a 360 pad, follow this. If you haven't, then leave it as it is. Basically, I like mine set up like a 360 pad, so I do this. So, I leave basically special artwork B, enabled, as in the first tick. I want to use 500 for that one. I want to use 384 for that one. I want it to come in for a second and I want it to come out for a second. I want it to stay active for three seconds and I want it to stay inactive for three seconds. I want it to be fade and I want it to have none and they should be default anyway. Okay, so I've just set up everything. If you're unsure about basically any of these settings that I've done, these are covered in previous videos in more detail. Just have a look at all the videos basically. Uh, Okay, that's everything done in there, so I should be able to click X, and now, oh my god, this would be amazing if it works, uh, I'm going to load Hyperspin, I'm going to go to the system, and what we should see is everything working, the gods of games, gods of, I don't know, Mega Drive 32X or Genesis 32X will be dancing around daisies of joy, and children will be rejoicing in the streets, because we will have it working, however, two things that won't be working videos we need to hypersync those to get them all to work or download them manually or whatever you want to do and also the text in the bottom left hand corner that describes what game it is and the year and the make uh, you need to edit that in your settings any file again if you look at my tutorials uh, tips and tricks 2015 in there I've given you everything you need and all the information you need to edit that to your own free will to make it look absolutely amazing so the children rejoice and dance even more around your 32x okay I'm talking shite I'm gonna load this please work please 
Oh, it's going to be really slow. Sorry, guys. I forgot. I'm still rendering. Yeah, it's going to be really choppy. Come on. We can do it. Got this. Where, where, what did I just set up? I set up um, 32x. Okay. Boom! There we go. Main menu. The little icons are working, videos working, everything looks amazing. The children are dancing everywhere. Let's jump in. Let's see if everything's worked inside. I want to be looking at wheel working. I want to be looking at car art and I want to be looking at box art. Boom, boom, boom. All working across the board. Yes. Legs it out of here because it's quite loud. Come on. Yeah, my apologies for being a bit choppy there. As I said, I'm rendering the video. But as you can see, we're set up. Sega 32X is set up. You've got everything you need there. You've got the bezels, you've got the carts, you've got the boxes, you've got the themes, you've got the wheels, you've got the fade, you've got the bezels, if I've already said that. Um, as always, uh, you set it up, well, by launching the game and then F1 to open the RetroArch menu. Just look at the RetroArch video guide if you're unsure. But this should be up and running now, so happy days. Okay, let me minimize this to get the full scenery that I've just made of this desktop background. And yeah, I'm waffling on. Uh, I'm probably still drunk from the weekend. But that's Sega 32X all set up, all for you. Um, if you've got any problems, complaints, you don't like me swearing or something, I don't care. But just throw it in the comment section. Uh, if you want to see something else brought in, just put it in the comment section. If you're having troubles, PM me, go on the Hyperspin forums, um, PM me here, put it in the comments, I don't care. I've got Facebook and Twitter now at the top so you can get instantaneous almost crap with me there. And make sure you like, subscribe, share, all the same shit that people always do on YouTube channels or whatever. And remember, say no to buying drives or pre-fucking configured computers or anything. It's all bullshit. The games will be shit. Your system will be shit. Your life will be shit. And you'll be out of pocket. So, as always, like and subscribe. And you guys have fun and good luck. Okay, laters.